This is going to be a quick overview of some things I want to make sure you know about criminal proceedings. Since we finished up our projects in class, I want to make sure you know this information. Now, our criminal legal system or our criminal court system is going to be an adversarial system. And when you have an adversary or when something is adversarial, you mean you have, that means you have a conflict with two people going at each other. So you have two sides presenting arguments and evidence against each other to help prove their point and argue. That's where the criminal proceeding is all about arguing two opposing points to help prove someone's innocence or guilt. Now there are two sides in the criminal proceeding. It's similar to what we have in the civil law. In civil law we have the plaintiff and the defendant. In the criminal law we have the prof prosecution and the defense. Now defendant, defense, same thing. Prosecution, plaintiff is the same thing. So just make sure you draw those connections. In a criminal proceeding the prosecution is trying to prove that the defendant is guilty and the prosecution is more than likely going to be the state or the government because the person who is on trial, which is the defendant, has broken a law and which goes against the wishes of the government and the public at large. Now the judge, the judge does not decide innocence or guilt in a trial. The judge just makes sure that the trial flows in a fair and legal way and that no one gets out of order and he ensures that conduct is upheld and that everyone stays on task. The bailiff, his job is to keep order in the court and square in the witnesses and the court reporter, they keep a record of everything that's going, to, that's going on in the court system. Now the judge, he makes sure that everything is upheld. The jury is the actual group of people who decides the innocence or guilt of a defendant. Now a jury is a group of 12 randomly selected people from the community that overhear the information and decide on the guilt and innocence of a defendant. Jury duty is a civic duty and responsibility that we have in our community and it is a very important function of the legal system. The jury, these 12 people, have to all agree on the verdict of guilty or not guilty in order for a person to be, uh, to be sentenced. If everybody doesn't agree on someone's guilt, then that means they have a hung jury and they can't and they don't have a unanimous decision. So they have to work on that in order for someone to be found guilty or not guilty. If a person is found not guilty, here's a new word for you. They're known to be acquitted or they've they're in the process of acquittal. They were not found guilty. If a person is found guilty, they're going to be sentenced. Now the judge has the power of sentencing the person and the more likely, excuse me, the more times you've committed a crime or you've been a repeat offender, the harsher or the more severe the sentence is going to be. So that's where the three strikes rule comes in. That If you do something over and over, your punishment gets worse and worse the more you do it. Now other words that I want you to know is going to be probation, restitution, and parole. Now probation is when you have a period of time when someone who's convicted of a crime, they get monitored rather than sent to jail. Restitution is when a convicted person has to repay money for the crime they have committed. And parole means if you were convicted and sent to prison, you get released before your sentence is over and therefore your sentence is shortened. Well, that's it for tonight. These are just some words I wanted to make sure you got down and that you knew and that you're familiar with. Thank you. See you in the class tomorrow.